What's up? So today I'm going to share with you my experience as a pig handler. Um, so I was trying to gather funds to fix my home and I was trying to come up with all kinds of ways to make fast money uh, without, you know, so, I was washing cars, doing all kinds of stuff. I have a video um, about that as well. But one of the things I did um, was pay handle. And I, you know, went down to Center City in the city that I lived in, that I live in. And I begged for money with a sign and everything. So, I'm going to tell you about my experience. Okay, so, um, I guess the big, the question that everybody was, like, asking me when people find out that I, um, pay handle is if I made any money. The answer is a big, fat, no. Uh, I don't think pay handlers make money. I know, personally, I didn't make hardly any money. Um, like, my first day was pretty good. You know, people supporting or whatever. Um, but after, like, my second and third day, it was hard to get a dollar. People were like, you know, look at you, look at me, um, uh, with almost disgust. Um, people were, like, you know, giving me advice on how to get a job. And, you know, it was, it was tough. And I have a college degree, so it made it feel like, you know, for the people who didn't know, they'd be looking at me like, well, won't you get a, go to school? And I'd be like, well, I I went to school, got a degree. And they'd be like, well, why are you here? Like, because I can't find a job that will help me um, have a, like, a, a, some spend time with my children and um and make money like it's almost like you got to choose so i figured you know and then getting hired is a lot getting hired oh my god people think that it's so easy getting a job but that's another story um but yes it was difficult um i would say location location is everything like here where i live it is a lot of pain handlers, a lot of homelessness, a lot of people begging for money. So I'm just a number in the crowd. I'm I'm nothing. I'm just a face, not even a face. I'm just like a cup. Um, and I had a sign to try and stand out, like a big, big bright white sign. Um, but you know, pain handling is real, real big here. Um, what else? Get down. Get down. Um, I know people wanted to, um, people wanted to, like, help me, but not, like, give me money. They wanted to, like, you know, help me find a job. They wanted to, um, and give me encouragement, which was cool. Uh, I'll take that. Um... And, yeah, some people was arguing with me. I had, like, you know, people arguing with me about going to the church and praying. I had some people um, praying with me. Oh, that felt good. I had people praying with me. And um, so I've, I, I like to talk. So I figured, hmm, let me see if. I offer people a conversation because I was like trying to find ways to um get get people to be engaged and want to help me. So I came up with a like maybe a um uh what I thought was a way to do that. And so I like ask people if you want to talk, you know, come and let's converse. And if you enjoy the conversation, then donate. So that didn't work. <laughs> Work the way I plan, you know, people coming to me, arguing with me about Christianity, 
uh, arguing about um, the genetic makeup of man. I don't know. It was crazy, just crazy stuff. So, um, yeah, that was that was great, interesting. Um, uh, one other thing I want to point out is the emotional toll that it takes on you. So people think that that um handling is easy. Like you could just go out there and beg for money. Oh my goodness. When I say it was the hardest decision and like I'm not even homeless. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not even homeless and it was so uh, hard, so humiliating, so it it it, it almost felt like like I was being broken. And so I thought that before I got out there, I thought, all right, this, you know, I'm at the bottom. I'm not at the complete bottom, but I'm desperate. I don't want to do anything illegal. So this is like the bottom for me until I get a job. Um, and it was not, it was not, people don't understand. Your physical, everything around you, not having a home or having a, in my case, a really, um, old home that needs a lot of work. Um, ha having no car, no not you know, on public transportation, maybe walking, biking. No matter what your situation is, it is nothing compared to actually you know begging people to sympathize with you or empathize with you. Even being homeless itself is nothing compared to being beyond. In a situation where you have to ask other people for their hard-earned money. Um, and so, like, I was out there for maybe... I thought I was going to be out there for, like, a day. For, like, a work day. Maybe six to eight hours. And I only lasted two hours each time. And I, I had to leave whenever I started feeling um, an overwhelming amount of guilt overwhelming amount of um desperation for like a dollar and a overwhelming amount of um um i guess just feeling broken overwhelming um energy broken energy and um, at one point, you know, I teared up a little bit. <laughs> People were looking at me like I was crazy. But it's just really hard. So keep that in mind. Like, it's, I say, if you're going to do it, if you need to do it, uh, if you want to see what it's like to humble yourself um, and to understand people who beg, then just keep in mind the emotional toll is going to um, cause. And... And how it may almost feel like you're being broken just by standing out there. Or just by people ignoring you. Or laughing at your situation. Telling you you don't need to be out here. Um, giving you other alternatives. Like you, like when you work, you it takes, t first of all, time for you to get hired. If you get hired. And then you got to wait another two weeks, two to three weeks, to get a paycheck. So, you know, people are going to give you their opinion how you should be um, raising money for whatever it is you need. Um, and they're going to assume that their way is the right way. Uh, you're going to have people who think that you don't deserve to be out there. Um, you're going to have people who um, who help. Oh, let's not forget, there are people who help. There are people who, you know, really have genuine concern and really care about, you know, Helping their community, helping you as a, as a part of that community, and um, doing you know just just giving, giving and without no any questions asked. You know I did have people who sympathized with me and really um, surprised me with the, with a do donation or the amount of of the donation. So um, yeah, it's a very humbling experience. So. Be appreciative, and again, don't don't feel like it's the end all be all. Like that's what I had to keep telling myself. Like this is not where I'm gonna be forever. This is not what I'm gonna be doing forever. 
Um, I am at the bottom, but I know for a fact I'm going to make it to the top. So you have to tell yourself that. You have to look at it as a transition or it's going to break you. It's plain and simple. So there you have it. My baby's crying, so I have to go. But, um, yes, whatever is going on, trust me when I say this is a very humbling experience. And I encourage everyone, actually, I encourage everyone, lawyers, doctors, anybody who's in civil service, um, to try it out for a day. Try it and stand on the corner and ask for money. And you'll see what I'm talking about. And then maybe it will make you a, you know, more um, giving person. And it'll make you a more um, humble person. And it'll definitely have you appreciate the things that you do have. So, with that being said, thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you um, want to see more videos, hit the notification box. And I look forward to sharing my other journeys with you guys and uh, letting you know about the other jobs that I've had. I'm going to be, um, you know, doing different things, doing different things um, as employment so that people can see how those experiences are for somebody who is trying to make quick money and give you some pros and cons about those um, experiences. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.